So welcome back to our 28 days later challenge on Project Zomboid. And I set the alarm so we'd be up early enough to be able to catch the morning TV show at 6 o'clock. Looks like the weather has calmed down a little bit. Still raining, but it was almost impossible to travel yesterday. So we're just going to catch this morning's show, see what's on. Okay, well, it was a cooking show, another level in cooking. All right, not the greatest skill to level up. We've built 42 on the way. I know they're going to be concentrating a lot more on cooking and farming, but uh, the more skills we can get, the better. So plan today is just to, well, get back to base, I feel, and we're going to check out the rest of these houses that are close by to us right now. So yeah, weather looks a lot better outside. Let's just unload some of this stuff here. Been grabbing plenty of sheets. We're going to need them to block up some windows. So we'll just have a smoke here. Shiny's gagging for a cigarette by the looks of it. And we've got a few houses just to check in our immediate vicinity just here. See if we can grab anything else worthwhile. And I don't believe I've checked out this building across the road. So let's go and have a look what we can find in here. Might just start grabbing some food as well. See if we can find any cooking pots, that'd be useful. So yeah, I don't think we checked this one out yesterday. Let's have a little look around here. So what we got, a hammer, I guess we'll grab that. I've got a space for a hammer. Actually not sure if I've already got one. And this one looks in much better nick. We'll take this one instead. Let's just drop this one we just picked up. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Yeah, that one's almost busted. Uh, toolbox. Doesn't look like there's anything inside that. And let's just check this bookshelf. See if we can find anything useful book-wise. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Food. What can we find? Okay, so empty cooking pot. I'm going to take as many of these as I can find. They're always useful. And we'll take the cereal and crackers. Um, water. Guess we'll grab the full one. Still drinking out of that empty bottle. And I'll drink all of this orange soda. Okay. Plenty of dried food here. That's going to be useful for cooking later on, especially when things start going rotten. We have to catch our own food. So, a little bit early to be grabbing that stuff. Uh, can opener. I'm pretty sure I've grabbed one of them, but I'll grab it anyway. Okay, upstairs, see if we can find anything. It's not in here. Mm, I think there. Ooh, copy of The Legend of Zelda on Nintendo. I think that one should be a gold cartridge, shouldn't it? But hey. See if we can actually find a Nintendo to play it on. Of course, the zombie apocalypse and the only thing that Shiny's interested in is her computer games. Uh, electronics, volume 3. I'll grab that. I usually read the magazines as I find them, but we've taken the slow reader trait, so... It does take some time, so I may as well just bring them back with me. Uh, I'm going to grab that pencil because I left the pen at home. Let's just mark off some of these buildings. So, we have done, we're in this one here, we have done the ones next to it. Just help me remember which ones we have done. There's a couple more up the road that we haven't gone to, so we'll visit them. And I think this building's pretty much cleared out. Let's just go and unload what we have. And I think these next two houses up here we haven't visited, so let's check these out. Oh dear me, the brakes on this thing. Well, I suppose it's only got three wheels, so it's a miracle it's actually running at all. But this ambulance is not the best. So, got a propane gas grill here. That would be useful, I suppose, when the... F actual power goes off. Can hear something inside there. Just gonna check around the back, see 
You can see where the zombie is. Somewhere around the back here. Usually a back door there. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, can't get in that way. Try here. This one open. Oh, finally. I thought I was going to have to smash through one of them windows. So, is it in the back here? Mm, doesn't look like it. It really sounds like it's downstairs. Oh, there we go. can see the door banging. Just the one. Taking the digital watches, they'll be useful to dismantle once we've read Electronics Volume 1. We'll get Electronics up a bit. Um, cigarettes, yep, we'll grab. Um, guess I'll grab the chips as well. Stuff that'll help us put on weight. Uh, that'll work in a Mechanics Volume 2. I guess we will grab them. Not great value at the moment, but... No doubt, no doubt we will need them a little bit later on. Uh, duct tape, we'll take that. Let's check upstairs. Can't hear anything else skulking around here. Denim shirt, I think. We'll just leave that. Ours is good enough. Um... More sheets we will grab. I've got plenty of sheets. We can also use the sheets and tie them together. Make a rope so we've got some sort of escape route when we get back to the base. Um, I think of value in this room. Okay, there's one more house just opposite here that we can check out. Guess we may as well tick all of these boxes before we leave. Food, um, we can eat these pickles, and I guess we'll eat the cabbage as well. We need to keep Shiny's weight up, we don't want to lose him weight, having the fitness go down. Uh, um, again, gonna grab these, the pasta, wasn't mission priority to grab lots of food but since we found the ambulance hopefully we can get back with it all any more big cooking pots mm, no box of sparklers okay used in crafting not really interested in that I'll grab the scissors I guess I think I've got a pair back at base but not too heavy Okay, let's just unload this stuff. So, this house just up here, we haven't checked out yet. Just the one zombie, a couple back there. I'll take this one out. I don't want to hang around here too much, I want to get back to base if I can. On you? No. And these guys haven't noticed us. We did actually check out that building yesterday. Okay, so got a shed here. Sheds. Never know. Could find that generator. Just the one zombie. Okay, come and get it. So we're going to level up our short blunt we weapon here. No, it doesn't look like there's any generators inside, but it's always worthwhile checking out these sheds. It's often a good place to spot them. Kind of hoping to come across a crowbar. It's kind of my preferred melee weapon. There's so nothing in here. Let's check out this last house. I think the next house up is the one that's for sale. It's often pretty empty. So let's just check this last house out. Okay. Uh, I'll take 
the pen. Start crossing things off again on the map. Duffel bag, okay. It's no more use than the trauma kit, but I do like to have a few extra bags. Handy for storage. Rolling pin, yeah, can of sardines. Sardines are handy, you don't actually need a can opener for them. Uh, I guess we can take this fresh food here. May as well. Might help us when we get back to base for a little bit. In here, medical supplies. Pretty much got all the medical supplies we need for the time being. wasn't expecting you. I thought I could hear something. I thought it might have been behind the door. Uh, antidepressants, another digital watch. Like I say, I'm just going to save all of the digital watches up that we find. Help us level up electronics when we dismantle them all. I'm going to wait until we've read Electronics Volume 1 before I start dismantling them all so we can benefit from the increased XP. Got another electronics magazine here. Can grab that, another one to read later. The more useful magazines to find would be the trapping guides. They're the ones we need to find. Learning how to make traps so we can actually hunt some meat, find some squirrels and rabbits. Especially when all of this stuff starts going rotten. And it will start going rotten pretty soon. So, just cross these ones out. We did that one with the shed and this one. Pretty sure we did them other three houses. Now, this next house along, I think, is the one that's got the for sale sign on. Just check. Came round the outside. Generally speaking, there's not much inside here. Yeah, that's the one with the for sale sign out. So we're at half one in the afternoon. I do want to get back to base. We've pretty much got a full truck of stuff that's useful. So let's make our way in the direction of the farm. Let's just get rid of this one here. any good so so yeah having three wheels is not the best and the brakes are pretty poor on this it's unfortunate we lost that wheel yeah like the brakes are, are pretty terrible I suppose it's to be expected it's no wonder it actually drives at all yeah we've checked all of these oh hey firefighter oh, the brakes on this thing um, question is, is that all there is, zombie-wise? Four or five. Might actually risk running some of these over. It's never the best plan to use your vehicle to squash zombies. Especially a vehicle in this state, but... I wouldn't mind getting that firefighting outfit there. The, the pants are definitely really, really good protection-wise. Um, taking it out, but... Mm, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't fancy taking on all of those. Okay. Let's just cut our losses and head back to base. I'm going to get onto the main road, if I can. Try and manoeuvre this vehicle. We do actually pass a pub down this way. And I haven't found a lighter yet. Could do with some lighters or some more matches or something. So I might check that out if I can. Let's try and move. There's no steering on this thing at all. Really difficult to manoeuvre. Okay, 
So pub is just up ahead here. Just here. Uh, ooh, and there's a van. If we can get inside that van, I might actually swap over. And it depends on how many have followed us through here. I think it's worth fighting for. So we've got a few. Um, we can take them. We can take them. They're all well spread out. Okay, well, a few more than I expected, but can we get inside this van? I'd rather not smash the window on it to get inside. It's like we've got a key on the floor just here. Is it a key for the van? It is. Okay. So, and we can siphon fuel out of the ambulance. That's got a full tank, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, just lock the doors and the boot, and there's no fuel, but the battery's full. Let's just check on the hood to see what kind of state it's in. Looks like the front's a bit smashed in. Yeah, so no hood, gas tank's a bit, but it's not actually in too bad a state. It's got four wheels, so I think we'll take it. Anything in the boot? Ah, an empty gas can. Well, we can siphon the gas into the gas can. Do have some empty bottles, so with the most recent update, you can use an empty bottle to siphon gas, but we can do that a lot quicker with a gas can, so let's just siphon the fuel off here. We'll take this other van. Okay, so that's the last of it. I actually think I've left some stuff in the front seat. Yeah, that was the last of it. Um, I left that satchel on the other seat, on the other side. So I'll grab that. And there is a little bit of fuel left in this ambulance, so I'll use that a little bit later on. This can be used as a distraction. can set the siren off somewhere just to draw some zombies out, so I will use it. Now, before we head on, I'm just going to check the bar out. I've actually used this bar a few times to set up as a base. Shaun of the Dead style. I mean, if you're going to hold up in a zombie apocalypse, we're better than the pub. <laughs> um, let's just turn some light on here. So, can't see any matches or lighters on the table, but... Empty bucket. I guess we'll grab that. Can leave that outside for some water. And just fill up our water bottle while we're here. So, some matches. That's what I needed to find. Okay, well, let's have a quick smoke. There's no lighters in here, but we got some extra matches. So that's better than nothing. So, things are getting a little bit late. We're at ten past seven. Shiny is getting tired. I think it's high time we head back to base. But at least we got something with four wheels now. I actually, I'm glad we found this van because I really didn't fancy taking that ambulance up the main road. You'll see when we hit the main road how busy the actual town is. And yeah, this is much better. <laughs> okay. So I've just got the gas station around the corner. I'm just gonna drive round the gas station, see how busy it is. Um, a few on the outside here. Okay. It doesn't look too overrun. Okay, prison bus. Well, that's one of the mods that we added on. I'll definitely be coming back for that later. There's only one vehicle mod that we've got on here was the buses. And never actually used them, so I'd like to be able to grab that if we can. Okay, let's slowly make our way back to base. As we can see, the main town is fairly overrun. 
Well, managed to make it back safe and sound. And we've got plenty to unload here. Now, the helicopter event is due any day now. And when that happens, we need to get away. Oh, looks like forage is on at nine o'clock. Let's just catch the rest of this show. Get our foraging up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to empty as much of that van as we can before we get some sleep. And just in case that helicopter event comes in, we're going to need to get away from this area as soon as that happens. Just shove that key on our key ring. Well, I'm going to call it quits there. Shiny's pretty exhausted. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons, and I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Managed to get everything pretty much unloaded, just in case that helicopter event happens tomorrow. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.